The Ojowe of Okoromi village, Pajon Ohagbo, at the point of the already demarcated boundary between Ohoromi and Arogba villages, said the ancestral tree used as landmark for boundary demarcation has dried up after being allegedly uprooted by an earth moving equipment. The Ojowe said the issue is provocative but will resort to traditional and constitutional means to get justice. When we heard that uh, they are working at the side of Arogba, with a bulldozer and some labor workers. But unfortunately, when our people pass through this place, they found that this uh, surviving uh, uh, stick pegged by the functionary uh, workers of uh, the East Palace to come and peg for us between Arogba and uh, Okoromi, uh, we found that they used bulldozer to scrape and just remove it from ground. So this matter was brought to us. And we came here immediately to come and view and found that uh, it was true that it was removed. So I held that there and said because since the rain has started falling, they should pack it back before we get to the root of the matter. So we put it back. Anybody seeing it, you know, you will see that uh, all the peg the stick now, the leaves have all dried and whipped out. Commenting on the development, the Ohe of Okoromi Village High Prince Ovoka will record on indigenous of Okoromi Village to be patient as the law will take its due course. Uwu Negwe, do ya we agme wuna ti Okoromi kiba wogba esi iyan avo le ikwa ane evo ike vizi ni mwe vizi bani iyan avo le vo le kwa iyan le si budeza. We are surprised at the development. The uprooted landmark tree has dried up. It shows a deliberate attempt to provoke Okoromi people. The leadership of Okoromi village presented a video footage of the boundary demarcation by palace functionaries on the instructions of the Oba of Benin, where both community leaders expressed satisfaction with the development. We are very happy to be here with the cooperation. There is no misunderstanding between Arogba and Okoromi. Wellington, Hakodija, reporting.